What up, guys? It's your boy, Sauce. So yeah, it just felt like making a little message. This one's to a buddy of mine. You're going through a rough spot. I know what that's like, man. It's hard. It's inspiring. So yeah, I just want to say some things I did and some things that might help you. I can't help you like physically because for one I don't even know where you are. Two, I'm a minimalist. I don't even have like PayPal or nothing like that. So. Yeah, I can give you nothing like that anyways. But yeah, so when I was homeless I didn't really think about the negatives because it was kind of like going with the motion type thing you never know what's going to come up like when you go through a lot of messed up stuff experiences you see a lot of things it's hard, hard to see this stuff i was a kid when i saw all of this you see a lot of evil a lot of darkness a lot of people like fear hatred and stuff I had to sleep on my belongings because even as a kid, people would try to take my stuff, like my underwear and stuff and my toothbrush and all this stuff. And now I'm a kid and these guys were like grown homeless men too and they're taking kids stuff, homeless, taking this stuff from kids and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty bad at that. But God's provision was always there. You can keep trying to reach out to people. Even if you just need to talk, you can reach out to me. I'm not quick to respond most of the time. But I'm always here. There's a lot of distractions online, a lot of distractions on my end and everything, and I tell you, don't don't even listen to that stuff. Focus on you. Keep having faith. Do what I recommended, that's uh, to go to a church and look for a hard copy of the Bible for yourself. No one recommended this stuff when I was homeless, but you know what? Keep looking forward, keep pushing hard. You can do this. I have faith you can do this. Don't give up. You're placed here for a reason. The people around you, the ones that matter to you, you're placed here for them. Try not to fall into that sin. Try not to follow other people into that sin. When I was homeless, there was guys, they used to like steal cars and stuff. I used to go down the street because I didn't want to partake in that, that theft. I used to, uh, oh guys, I'm going down the street. I uh, go keep an eye out or something like that. You know they can't hear me when I'm yelling. <laughs> That's how far I went. Yeah, that wasn't me. I was, I was a kid. I was just following along, trying to survive. These people were older than me. They were leading me. But yeah, just, you don't have to do that. You can turn from that. I paid for my sins. You don't have to fall into that. Remember, Christ is with you. Seek him and get closer to him. He will comfort you. 
I suggest maybe watching the videos I, I share every day in church. Those might help you too. You're here for a reason. Even with the brother we felt I fell out with, he's here for a reason too. He needs to stop. We all need to stop. Yeah, keep looking forward. Uh, you could look for soup kitchen. There's always soup kitchen for me. They they give one meal, but sometimes it was overcrowded and you didn't even get the meal. Like a lot of times. You can look at food banks. Food banks are in trouble right now. But you can always just call around churches too. They do, um, a lot of churches do food baskets. They only can give it to you like tw twice a year though. They give you a food basket. This is all donation. And while you're at the church, you can ask for a hard copy of the Bible. <laughs> That's if the church even has it. If the church doesn't have it, you're going to have to look around. I wish I could, like, send these Bibles out, but the Bibles I get cost me money. And I don't have this money. <laughs> I get mine from online. So it's mailed to me. Yeah, yeah. Give me an address, maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll already you one and send it to your address. <laughs> but you don't have an address. Like that's it. Like these are things I, I that I can possibly try to help if I actually like put my mind to it and try to do it. I've never had had to help someone online like this with the word. So like I said, I'm just a student. I'm not a teacher. I'm just a servant. All you can do is look at me, for example. I can't tell you nothing, make you believe nothing. Just keep looking forward. Keep focusing on you. The only thing that matters is you and the ones that matter to you. The ones around you. Don't let anyone else distract you away from your goal. And you know your goal. Deep inside you, you know your goal. So keep focusing on it. Keep looking forward. Keep moving towards it. Keep fighting. So when I was homeless, I had to get... I was trying to find work and everything. That's real hard to do. But I still manage sometimes. I got this one job where I basically slept in the trailer. And I'd wake up for my shift in the trailer. They didn't know I slept in there, but. <laughs> or there's another place I worked at. I worked at for like six months. I was this kid, I was stupid, like with my money and everything. So I didn't save to get an apartment or nothing. I was just spent it on like junk. I was chasing weed and all that stuff. I didn't actually try, I was going with the motion, like I was saying. But I worked at this place for six months. I slept in the forest every day. That was like across the street. It was a pretty big forest too. But I remember one night I walked in there and I got lost for like two hours. <laughs> I must have been walking circles or something, but I was lost in that forest for two hours. 
I was like 16 at the time. My friends were running away from the security from the mall because they were car hopping. And car hopping for change to feed ourselves. You don't want... I, I never really car hopped. I never... I maybe did it twice out of the four years I was home. That I actually took change. While everyone else was taking it and we were going to like Good old Tim Hortons and buying donuts and stuff to feed ourselves. Donuts. We weren't actually buying food. There was times I would stand outside pizza stores and ask people, do you have $5? Like, because we have a little Caesars, $5 hot and ready, so it's like a medium pizza or a small pizza for $5. So we'd, I'd stand outside this pizza store and ask Panhandle, five dollars. Ask people, you got five dollars so I could, I'm homeless. Like I'm just some kid on the street trying to feed myself. And I hated Panhandling. I never did it much. I knew guys that walked down the street with a cup and shake the cup in people's faces. And all you hear is pockets full of change, just cling, cling, cling as they're walking. Like they got like like a hundred bucks of change on them. <laughs> and they're still shaking the cup in people's face. Like I always, I always just asked for what I needed. Like I was desperately in need for it. I never really took any other people's stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. I always just used to steal my old man's stash. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> like I've done all that <laughs> this is like years and years ago yeah I think this is like over 15 years for me so. I managed I can't remember how I got off the street but I vowed not to go back to that and it wasn't go back to live and sleep outside it was going back to that lifestyle. Because that street lifestyle is something else. And there is a way out. That's, I didn't get in the gangs and stuff, so I, I always had that door out. When you get into those gangs and stuff, and th th that door disappears. And I know a lot of people that fell into that. I don't know too many people that fell into it. But you won't have to fall into that. Hopefully you haven't fallen into that. See, I don't know your surroundings. I only know the little, little bit you told me. I don't know your surroundings, so I'm going by like assumptions and like guessing and all that stuff. And Oh wait, you may be going through. So, like I said, all I can do is point at the traits and see if you can get a hard copy. If you can get online a lot, then you can find that hard copy online. But fellowship is good. The more fellowship you have, the better. The more opportunities open up. Strive for the good to help others. Even though you're in the roughest spot, try to help those around you. And you'll see. Things will start to look up for you. You got the job, so I don't know what happened to that job. If it fell apart or you were late and lost it. Like, I've lost so many jobs, you have no idea. Because I was late by like three minutes. I was late three days out of the six months or something like that. Nope, we can't have it. So many jobs. You know I was a good worker and everything. Yeah, don't hold that against you. So. Keep trying. Keep handing out resumes. You know you don't have the paper. Go to the library. Print out your resumes. Work on your resumes. I'm sure there's a 
a place that will help you create your resume. You can look these things up online. That will help you. In your area is what I'm talking about. All this stuff was in my city. If you're in a big city, you got all this stuff. You got more resources than the person in the country. Like, I'm in the country right now. So if I'm in the country, then I don't have these resources. I only have one little shop and that's Service Ontario. (laughs) And that's government. So you can utilize your government resources too. (laughs) You don't have to be... Like, these things are in place for a reason. Some of these things are in place for a reason. Some things actually help you. Not everything in the system is against you. Don't look this online stuff. Draw you into a delusion. Just remember. So, utilize your resources. You can even look at for charity programs or stuff. You can reach out to the brothers in our group. We're always here for you. I already talked to Brother Shinomi, so that's good. Seems I was asleep on that <laughs> all late. <laughs> but yeah, remember, look inwards, not upwards. Stay positive and humble. And turn to Jesus Christ. Get in that word.